Dear children, welcome to yet another English language class and today we will start the topic verbs. Verbs or action words or doing words. A verb is used to say something about a person or thing. So a verb is an action or doing word and tells us what a person, animal or thing does. It says what a person or thing does, that is action, what a person or thing is, that is being, and what a person or thing has, that is position. So we can say a verb is a word which describes an action, state or being, or possession or ownership. Action verbs or doing verbs are like play, eat, read, jump, study, wash, write, sing. So whatever we do, the doing verbs, they are the action verbs. Now examples of being verbs are is, am, are, was, were. They do not show any action. Now in forms of be verbs, is, am, are used when we talk about present. Was, were are used for past tense and will be, shall be when we talk about future tense. Now in forms of have verbs, has and have are used when we talk about present, had is used for past tense and will have, shall have are used for future tense. Now let's see some examples how verbs are used to denote action, being and position. I eat my meals regularly. Children play in the park. Here eat and play are the action or doing verbs. They tell us what do I do? I eat. What do the children do? They play. Rima is my friend. The dog was black. Here is, was, are the being verbs. They tell us about the state of the subject. I have a red pen. He has a big house. Here has, have, are showing the position or to whom the thing belongs to. Now a complete sentence is made up of a subject and a predicate. This we have seen in the sentences topic. And the main word in a predicate is a verb. Now verbs perform different functions. Some verbs show the action of the subject. Some link the subject to the noun or adjective in the predicate. Some work as helping verbs with main verbs. Now action words or doing verbs, they tell what the subject of a sentence does. Now this action can be physical or mental. Now, physical action tells us about an action that can be seen. For example, eat, drink, dance, cry, slap and so on. So all these actions, they can be seen. So they are physical actions. What about mental action? They cannot be seen. They cannot be seen like forget, think, remember, surprise, promise, recognize and so on. So they all are describing the mental action which goes on in the mind only. Now we have a main verb or an auxiliary or helping verb in a sentence. Now let's describe main verb. Main verb or the principal verbs are used to denote any action in a sentence and they can be changed according to the other words of the sentence. For example, play, it becomes played, played, knock, knocked, knocked, wash, washed, washed, dance, dance, dance. So in these sentences, so all these are the main verbs. Now let's see the helping verbs. These verbs are used when the main verb, with the main verbs and they do not change their form while they are used in the sentences. Like is, am, are, was, were, do, does, did, has, have, had, etc. Let's see the examples. He is writing a new story. Sheena was suffering from fever. Your friend has not wished you yet on your achievement. My mother did not attend friends, my friend's marriage. So here is, was, has, did. They are all helping verbs as they are used with the main verbs. Writing, suffering, wished, attend. So helping verbs, they are used with the main verbs and they do not change their form. So we will talk about other kinds of verbs also that we will do in the next video. Thank you.